what are five must-try places around Convoy Street here in San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Now, by popular request, Today we are here at Convoy Street, which is in Kearney Mesa. It's a very famous street known for its Asian cuisine, whether it's Korean, Chinese, Taiwanese, all kinds of Asian food exist around Convoy Street. There's hundreds of spots. This is probably gonna be the first of many videos around Convoy Street. Now, I'm just gonna pick five places today. I'm gonna give you a couple of places to eat dumplings, ramen, and some really nice desserts, and a few unique spots as well. So let's go and check out Convoy Street. We're here at Rocky Rocky Ramen. I've actually never had it before, but everybody tells me it's great. I usually do Tajima, but since we're following the rules of the place has to be on convoy i do realize there's another tajima over here that i've never been to i usually go to the one that is closer to uh the target and the in and out but it's not on convoy so we're gonna try rocky rocky try something new and this is actually in an area where the green tea house used to be where i used to originally get boba look at this the yasai that's a vegan spot now there's a lot less parking spots around here because there are tents outdoor tents that you can go dine at crispy karaoke crab hut shabu shabu house tapioca express this is where the green tea house used to be back in the day yogurt world tofu house so many things over here all right guys ordered it and got the bag so there is outdoor dining over here i luckily found parking here on the street now let's fast forward to jj at home to try out their ramen all right jaycationers made it home we're now here trying the Rocky Rocky Ramen. It is the spicy misu tonkatsu. Like I said, I usually go to Tajima, but the rules of this video is the address has to be on Convoy, and I do understand there's another Tajima, but I figured that we'd try Rocky Rocky because I wanted something different. Now I ordered the chasu. I'm not really that knowledgeable with Japanese ramen. But I got the chasu, which is this beef right here. I ordered it spicy hot. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, spicy. Wow, that's actually really good meat. Wow. Gotta have the greens, as you guys can see here. Spicy miso tonkatsu ramen, handcrafted noodles and spicy miso tonkatsu broth topped with bamboo shoots, bean sprouts, five spice soy sauce, pickled egg, garlic chips, green onions, wakame seaweed, and crushed sesame. I knew I was tasting some seaweed in there, so that's everything that's in here. That's a ton of stuff, ton of ingredients in this ramen bowl, and I do dig it. But Menya Ultra and Tajima, those are my favorites, but they're a little far from Convoy. And I said, this must five has to be off of Convoy Street. Love the ramen. Now, if you guys have gone back to Jaycation in the past, you've seen my Tokyo video and I went to Ichiran over there where they, you don't even see the waiter serve you the food. It just shows up under these blinds basically. And you can just see them bow down and when they give it to you. And that was the best ramen I probably ever experienced in my 24 hours in Japan. I really like Menya Ultra. Rocky Rocky is pretty solid, pretty solid decision too. And I really do love the egg. I kind of saved that for the end, but wow, this I could be eating this for a couple days because this is there's a lot in this ramen bowl. Another thing I like to get when I get ramen is usually the gyoza or the fried chicken. Uh, those are good options. We're gonna try out the brick toast next. Are you finding value so far in this video? I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you have just discovered my channel, I have plenty of San Diego content in my library already and more to come. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment below and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell because I go live once a week around San Diego and also post these videos sporadically throughout the days. Next up is Up To You Cafe. It has some great desserts. They have awesome crepes. They have ice cream here. They have this really special thing called Brick Toast, which we already ordered online and we're gonna take it back home and try it. Thank you. Got the bag. 
Let's try the brick toast when you get home because I bought ice cream at Vaughn's as well. Dessert time. You can tell I shaved. Shaved and showered. All right guys, so I got the brick toast. I added condensed milk and strawberries. They also give you whipped cream. And you know what? It ain't no dessert without French vanilla ice cream. So I got, I got the ice cream on the side and we're gonna eat the brick toast. Mmm. All right, condensed milk, strawberry, vanilla ice cream. Ooh, 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 it's good stuff. So this brick toast is good. You know, it's just, a, it's just toast shaped like a brick. Thick bread, strawberries are nice and sweet. French vanilla is always on point. I get my French vanilla from Vons because it's like less than three bucks, the Vons brand. Mm. And the brick toast is also cut into nine squares. Up to you cafe is cool. They have outdoor dining. During normal times, that's a really great place to go for dessert after you have some ramen or some dumplings or some Korean barbecue. Um, really small parking lot, but you can also park on the street. It's really in the middle of all the car dealerships like Honda on Convoy. You, you'll miss it, it's kind of hidden, so make sure you just put it on your GPS. If you pass the Wendy's and gone towards Miramar more, you've gone too far. Now on to JJ and the next place for five must-try spots on Convoy. Continuing on to the five must-try spots in Convoy. Now remember, there's just so many restaurants, like hundreds of Asian-style restaurants here in Convoy, so I can't possibly cover them all. So this really is just the first video of a multiple part series. So if there's a spot I miss, comment below and maybe I'll cover it next time. But guess what? For this next spot, we have a special guest. What's going on, Jaycationers? There's Brody. I have made a return. I know it's been uh, very long overdue, but I am officially back. It's my bro Jello. A little bit. <laughs> it's just Corona, everything. So you know how it is. We're playing it safe. You know how it is. Exactly. All right, guys. So we're here at a very unique spot. This is the famous waffle sandwich. Jello don't know about it. No clue. And it's right next to Kung Fu Tea, a place that Jello knows a lot about. Why is that, bro? I may or may not work at Kung Fu Tea. Uh, somewhere. 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 We're gonna go inside the famous waffle sandwich, and then me and Jello are gonna review it. Over in this section of Convoy, there's a billiard cafe, there's a Kung Fu Tea, and famous waffle sandwich. They also have a juice bar, and then Common Theory is actually a really good spot for happy hour. All right, JK, here's Jello's gonna review his now, and I'm gonna eat mine later on at home. I got the cookies and cream waffle sandwich from Famous Waffle Sandwich. Um, it looks really good. I am definitely a cookies and cream guy. That's my favorite ice cream, my go-to, other than Rocky Road, of course. Let's give it a shot. Mm. It reminds me of a funnel cake from the fair. Ooh, funnel cake. That's legit. If you ever just want a sweet go-to waffle that tastes like funnel cake, go here. Yep. All right, made it back home. We're gonna try the famous waffle sandwich. So Jello, who we met up over at Convoy, tried the sweet in the sweet and savory. And now I'm gonna try the savory. I don't like mixing both. So I'm happy that Jello came along and tried out his Oreo waffle and you guys get to see that. I retoasted this. You guys saw the uh, this waffle, it looks like a taco. I got the Louisiana hot sauce right here. This is a tuna waffle with garlic. Oh wow. The waffle itself is still a little sweet, so you still get a little sweet and savory up in here, but still, this is good. And gotta, I gotta put that Louisiana hot sauce in here. Mm-hmm. Wow, got the tuna, you also got some cheddar cheese in it. Garlic flavor, definitely really tasty. The original Waff Witch is what they call it. I figured I'd throw a little unique wrinkle to this five must try list, so this one's it. You grew up liking sweets, you love Nutella, you love cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to make a waffle at home, what mm -hmm. do you put in your waffle? What do I put in my waffle? No question, Nutella. Nutella is my go-to, always a good one. What do you put on your waffle? That's what she said. I'm out. I'm out. Special thanks to my bro Jello. I know it's been a while, but there's his appearance. It had to be in the convoy video. But on to the next spot. We're gonna be trying some boba. All right, JK Shitter, so the next spot is a Taiwanese place. 
It's a boba spot called Cher Tea. I've spoken about it many a time in my live streams. This is the taro pudding ice blended smoothie that they have. We're gonna try it at home, but just to give you a little background about Cher Tea is that Cher Tea is from Taiwan, obviously, but they're around the world. Philippines, they have tons of different flavors. You can just get it ice blended. You can just have it with ice, without ice, whatever you please. You can have boba if you want. They ask you for your sweetness level. So I usually just get regular, but we're gonna fast forward and try this at home. Got the cup. Let's go. We're gonna try the Cher Tea, the taro ice blended. Now I want to shout out one of my viewers, Vince, who watches on my live stream. He super chatted me so I can go get the share tea. So thanks to you. I just got regular sweetness. So cheers. Mm. So there's pudding in this. So it's like a flan pudding. And there's also some boba. Now you can get it with or without any of these. But what's really popular is having the the flan type pudding on here so people usually just get that no boba or you just don't have the pudding and you just get boba or just don't have it and have just the shake itself so this boba is amazing i love it but there are many other boba spots in convoy we'll eventually hit them up kung fu tea happy lemons another spot and tapioca express there's so many over there that i, I can't like cover them all but shared tea is one of my go-to's Right behind me is Taeguki Korean Barbecue. It's one of my favorite Korean barbecues in all the convoy. Now I can only do must try five spots, but eventually we're gonna come back and try this place. Right behind me is a restaurant that me and my family used to frequent when we were growing up. This is Jasmine, really great for dim sum, uh, family style meals. It's that traditional Asian restaurant and it is a great spot. Now one thing that I've noticed here about dine-in in convoy, there is a lot of stuff that has outdoor dining and they're taking a lot of parking spots. So it's kind of hard to find parking, but there are a lot of side street parking. You just have to find it and then walk to your destination. Now we're walking into the final spot and this is Shanghai Saloon. And from four to six, they have a really great happy hour. And I want to try their dumplings and their bowl buns. Jasmine also has a Jasmine Express where you can get stuff to go. All right, we're here at the Dumpling Inn Shanghai Saloon. I have a Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. We talk about the news around SD, current events, things to do around town, tips and recommendations. We just hit 400 members, so I'm really excited about that. There used to be a restaurant just down the way here called Chinamax, and infamously, it burnt down, and it's still in shambles. This is another good spot. I've had this with my buddy Danny in the past. This is Steamy Piggy. And for those of you asking where the Tajima is, it's right behind me. I've never actually been to the Tajima. I usually go to the one near the In-N-Out. Sushi, sushi. I actually heard it's a really good spot. Other things you'll find around Convoy Street are plenty of karaoke bars. There are an endless amount of karaoke bars here. We're in the south part of Convoy Street. This is Cross Street Chicken. Right across the way, you see that spot called Boba Time. That used to be a Yoshinoya back in the day. I used to frequent that all the time. Mana barbecue right across the way. There's also a Wiener Schnitzel here. If you go south on Convoy Street, that's when you start hitting the Costco's and then you get into Linda Vista once you cross the 805. Now to try the last meal of the five must try spots on Convoy Street. We're gonna be trying the Dumpling Inn and Shanghai Saloon. We're trying the shrimp, chicken, and chive dumpling and we're also trying the steamed silver strand bun i didn't get the happy hour deal like i said because you have to actually sit there and eat it in one of their tents so i just paid the regular price and for 10 dumplings it's 950 and for six steamed buns it's 625 all right so let's try it i know y'all is gonna be knocking me for not using chopsticks i know how to use chopsticks but i'd just rather use the fork gets the job done you definitely can taste the chive in there the pork is good, shrimp is good. Pretty decent dumpling. I just wish I had it in the happy hour price. That's the only thing I wish. But it's really good. I enjoy it. I've actually been eating a lot of dumplings from like Trader Joe's and Costco's where we've been getting our dumplings. <laughs> this goes to show how much I don't know about dumplings and uh, buns. There's nothing inside these buns. It's just a steamed bun. It's just like bread. 
I thought there'd be pork or something in here. Nope. That's a Jaycation fail right there. Where the heck is the pork in this? <laughs> it's just a bun. That's a fail. See, that just goes to show that I'm not experienced when it comes to Asian food. I guess we'll go back to the shrimp, chicken, and chive dumpling because, because there's actually stuff in the inside. We're also gonna try this hot oil. Can't have too much of it, but we're gonna put it in here. All right, Jacationers, now that's it for the final spot. So I felt kind of unsettled trying that last spot, Shanghai Saloon, the Dumpling Inn. Uh, a little pricey. I think it was a little too pricey and it was definitely my fault that I ordered that bun that was basically no filling. I should do a better job reading more in the future, but still, that was about $6.50 for six small pieces. I had to redeem myself. I went to Vaughn's. Now it's not at Convoy Street, but I had to redeem myself and get myself a barbecue pork bao bun. Just kind of finish the video on an honest note. These five must try places, usually I hit them on the dot because I've been there before and tried a lot of these spots. But sometimes, you know, you don't have the best experience and that's the type of stuff that I want to deliver to you as a viewer. So I didn't really have that great of an experience over at the Dumpling Inn Shanghai Saloon and I just want you guys to know that. So let's redeem ourselves. I went to Vaughn's, I went to their uh, deli section where they have a sushi chef and they also have these barbecue pork buns. So we're gonna dip this into the teriyaki sauce with some sriracha in it. Let's redeem ourselves. Now there better be some barbecue pork inside this. <laughs> there it is. Mm-hmm. Look at the steam. All right, this is how we end the video. I just wanna let you guys know that. So you guys know that I'm not saying everything is good, everything is great. I usually go to these places in the past and have tried them before, but there's some times where you have an experience when you're filming and it's not as good. I mean, for six fifty, for those six pieces of just the of the bow, I don't know. And also for the dumplings, ah, I've had better dumplings. So you could definitely find better dumplings around Convoy Street. Who knows? It might be better if you just ate it straight at the Shanghai Saloon out on their dining over there. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up this barbecue pork bao bun, and we'll finish up this video. That will do it for five must-try spots in all of Convoy Street. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps get this video distributed throughout YouTube. And if you consider hitting that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. I have a huge library of San Diego content and more SD stuff to come. I also go live once a week. So if you wanna hit that notification bell as well, you'll know when I go live and when I post these videos as soon as they come out. I have new merch, my California Burrito SD Burrito t-shirt. I have that link down below as well. I have tons of hoodies, shirts, women's, kids, and men's sizes. If you wanna check out some Jcation merch, please do so. And if you wanna support me even further in 2021, check out my Patreon. I'm sending out a postcard to everyone who joins in the month of February and everybody that's already joined. So thank you very much for watching this video, and in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh...